since I started this when John Kennedy was the president, I figure it's about 55 years of bubbles. I discovered I could blow bubbles with my hands and it struck me as just the most wonderful thing I'd ever experienced. Uh, it still strikes me that way. Um, and I had careers as um, an engineer and a lawyer. I'm done with both and I'm doing this full time now. And I've been doing bubbles outside like this for about seven years. As a result of a conference that I helped to, um, to coordinate in San Francisco for bubble blowers from all over the world. And some people wanted to try to do a world's record with a great big loop. And I sort of fell in love with this as a, as a technique. And so what started out as me doing almost all bubbles indoors moved to me doing mostly outdoors. And uh, if I don't get 80, 90% smiles from kids, I'm doing something wrong. So it was, uh, the experiment wasn't much of anything. It was about silk films and how they operate and so on. But the interesting thing was in playing with it, I discovered I could blow bubbles with my hands. And then I discovered I could blow bubbles with two hands and it just went from there. The idea for um, long poles, um, these are all fishing poles. Uh, they come from China. They're, they're, they collapse so they'll fit into an, a bag real easily. Um, and the idea of having a loop uh, for making bubbles uh, came from uh, a toy maker in Kentucky um, and he was um, he made it as a, a, a small thing for uh, for kids as a toy and he held the patent on it for many years um, those of us who saw it said this design is perfect for outdoors so we scaled it up and we used different materials and and it's just sort of evolved. When there's too much wind or it's too dry to make big bubbles, we find that putting a series of small loops together, which we call a garland, works better. And then I started playing with, what, what if you used a net? So I started tying up nets that would have the characteristics I wanted, and it's having way too much time on my hands, apparently. But it's very satisfying. There is something about um, touching kids, seeing them totally absorbed in, um, in the bubbles. When I make bubbles sometimes, uh, and the wind is blowing down a, a long stretch, there will sometimes be people picnicking on a blanket downwind from me, and the kids will run right over them. They, everything else disappears when there's bubbles in the air. Um, that's not something I'm doing. That just seems to be what's in the nature of kids. But I love that I have this little niche where I get to do it and it triggers this for kids and kids get, you know, just way into it. If you haven't blown bubbles in a while, if you haven't really experienced what it's like, you're really missing something. I think it's for adults as much as for kids. Um, and I would encourage anybody who's hearing this to get out and try and play. You're not in good hands with the big insurance company. <laughs> but after 30 years of being like a good neighbor to the Central Valley, the law office of Mark Nelson is a rock in the community that fights for those who cannot fight for themselves. Mark Nelson is on your side. A local law firm that fights the insurance company bullies. That's as progressive as it gets. Go to MarkNelsonLawOffices.com for a free consultation.